गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज हरचरण सिंह एंड यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू द ई लर्निंग पोर्टल ऑफ कैम्ब्रिज इंटरनेशनल स्कूल दसुआ As you know, we are reading uh, the first textbook that is Hornbill. Students, uh, in the previous video, we had read uh, the Voice of the Rain, that is a poem written by Walt Whitman. going to recap that this poem is a conversation between the poet and the rain it was raining and the poet asked the rain who are you and uh, after that the poet describes the answer that was given by the rain the poet translates the answer as the poet tells it was very strange the rain answered him and the answer was the rain said i am the poem of the earth it calls itself the poem of the earth and uh, then the rain told that she cannot be touched as she rises in the form of steam in the sky from the land and the bottomless sea it changes its shape but still remains the same the steam changes into water vapors and uh, comes down in the form of rain on the earth it falls back on the surface of the earth to provide water to the drought prone areas to beautify and purify the earth the rain calls itself uh, uh, the earth is its birthplace it provides life to the seeds that were lying hidden or unborn In the last stanza the rain tells that it does not care if anyone does not bother about her deeds or not she completes her work and comes back home the poet has also compared the rain with a song that they both share a common journey the song originates from the heart of the singer travels across to fulfill the aim and comes back with due love for the singer or its composer so this is the summary of uh, the poem the voice of the rain and the poetic devices that have been used in this poem are first one is personification personification is uh, the poetic device in which non living and inanimate things are given human qualities just like in this poem the rain is talking next is metaphor is an indirect comparison between the qualities of different things just like it tells i am the poem of the earth next is hyperbole hyperbole is an exaggerated statement just like bottomless sea next is imagery that is the visual description of something students uh, the next chapter that we are going to begin is the ailing planet the ailing planet the green movement's role it has been written by nani palki wala uh this chapter as you can read its title the ailing planet the word ailing means sick that is diseased not well planet and you all know which planet is not well is not in good condition or sick yeah that is earth earth is the only planet that is sick and uh, there there was a movement started that was the green movement it was about the protection of the earth how to take care of the earth and to change the view of all humans towards the earth how we should take care of the earth how can we preserve our planet and its resources this is all about this students uh, the chapter the ailing planet the green movement's role that is actually a newspaper article written by nani palki wala and it was published in the indian express on november 24 in 1994 and it is about the declining health of our planet earth 
the article tells about the green movement the green movement is uh, to protect our earth and its environment it is to make the humans aware about the declining health of the earth and to tell them how to take care of our planet this movement that was started in 1972 in new zealand this is considered to be the most rapid movement in the world history and this movement got the attention of the entire human race very rapidly good morning students uh, this is harcharan singh and uh, you all are welcome to the e learning portal of cambridge international school dasua the next uh, we read in this article the condition of the earth what it shows its symptoms are like a patient whose health is declining day by day earth is not more than a patient and that is all because of us we as humans human beings now realize our duty to be good managers of the planet we should take care of the earth as good stewards and to be a responsible trustee to conserve the environment so that we can pass it as a legacy to the next generations then there was the concept of sustainable development that was popularized in 1987 by the world commission on environment and development students sustainable development that is uh, it means we should use the resources that we find on the earth we should use all the resources in such a way that after fulfilling our needs from those resources we should not destroy them all we should keep it in mind that apart from our use we have to keep those resources for the future generations also so sustainable development is termed as a type of development that meets the needs of the present generation without wasting or compromising with natural resources so that the future generations can meet their needs so we should use everything every resource in such a way that it lasts forever we should not uh, bring anything to the end by using it in excessive manner to describe it how we humans are depleting the resources on the earth and how are we misusing the resources the writer has given example that there is one zoo uh, in lusaka zambia and in that zoo there is one cage outside the cage on the notice board you read the world's most dangerous animal and the moment you enter the cage you do not find any animal there there is one mirror 
and you see yourself. What does it mean? It means man is the world's most dangerous animal. Why man has been called the world's most dangerous animal? The reason behind that is students apart from humans there are 1.4 million living species that share the earth but we humans instead of being members with those 1.4 million living species we have started dominating them we do not consider ourselves as the partners on the earth but we have started dominating we have started cutting jungles we have started creating and constructing more infrastructures making roads we have cut a lot of jungles you know the condition of the earth that is why the writer has called man the world's most dangerous animal as it has been described in a zoo at lusaka zambia that is only because the man does not share the earth with other species but man dominates all other 1.4 million living species and th that is not only 1.4 million the writer has mentioned there are some species that are still uncatalogued they are more than 1.4 million next uh, we read about the brand commission the brand commission was one of the early international commissions that dealt with the questions of ecology and environment there was an indian as the member of that commission mr l k jha that was one of the commission's members and uh, in its first report the commission raised a question that are we going to leave a burned planet with destroyed forest and a lot of aided deserts poor landscapes and a sick environment for our future generations okay uh, students what we read today i'm going to conclude that uh, we are reading the ailing planet the green movement's role written by nani palki wala actually it was a newspaper article that published in the indian express on november 24 1994 this is about the declining health of the earth that is still a very relevant issue then the writer talks about the green movement the green movement was started in 1972 in new zealand it was the fastest movement in the world history it caught the human attention so rapidly and so fastly that is unimaginable and this movement was only to save the planet earth and uh, to tell its importance how we humans should consider it and how we should take care of this planet then the writer tells that we humans have changed our view towards the earth it has been changed from mechanistic to holistic and ecological view that means we have started taking care of the earth and this is so revolutionary change that is just like copernicus when he had told the humans about other earth and other planets that revolve around the sun similar to that that is very revolutionary change it is the change which evolved human perception now the earth is seen as a living organism of which we are an integral part like other living organism earth has its own metabolism and vital needs and we should take care of the earth then the writer discusses that the earth shows the symptoms of a patient whose health is declining 
we humans we should be very good caretakers of the earth we should be responsible trustees to conserve the environment because that is a legacy that we have to pass to the next generations there was a concept of sustainable development that popularized in the year 1987 by the world commission on environment and development students sustainable development is the development in which we have to use the resources and everything in such a way that we should not waste it because we have to keep it for our future generations also to tell how humans are destroying the earth the writer has given one very good example uh, there is a zoo in lusaka zambia and uh, outside one cage of that zoo there is the notice board the world's most dangerous animal there is no animal in the cage but the moment you enter you find a mirror and you see yourself there so what does it mean it means man is the most dangerous animal of the world why has it been called it has been called because there are more than 1.4 million living species that share the earth with humans but rather than being their partners we have started dominating all of them that is only uh because of the human nature the next the writer tells about the brand commission that was one of the early international commissions that dealt with the questions of ecology and environment there was an indian as the member of that commission mr l k jha and in the report the commission raised a question are we going to leave a burned planet with sick environment with spread deserts and no forest and poor land for our future generations so students uh, that was what we read today thank you very much